Hello, pickers. Hello, pickers and collectors of unique things to purchase and resell. We're here at the Goodwill. We're up here in the traveling actually far, far pretty far away from our home it's just Roseburg Oregon and we just left it as is Goodwill that was bad it sucked but we did make about $75 profit or more on that location we spent $10 so we got our money back and more and then we're at a Goodwill here it's called the marketplace I'm gonna go in there and see if I can score some money Anyways, hey, I love you I'll be right back to you honey to say this is a very 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 good goodwill i think it's not touched that much if you guys that get your get down here ever and want to visit the oregon oregon roseburg uh goodwill you might find some good stuff here i don't ever come here so this is free territory free territory i've found some really i mean just tons of things and so i'm gonna keep looking i'll let you know what i find Hey everybody, I am at the As Is Goodwill. Do my... Daily Drew the Picker. Checking out all the art to make sure and see if there's anything of unique value in there. Worth anything. I don't really see anything. That's a pretty cool print. A lot of the art here today is just kind of prints. That's cool. That's sold already. That's neat though. Anyways, checking in. Got some stuff here. Let me switch the camera around if I can. And I can't, never mind. So I got a whole cart full of stuff. They're about ready to close. It's kind of crowded today. A lot of people wanting to buy a bunch of stuff. But I will be back. Let's look right there. All right guys, look at us, the Value Village. You know, I don't like this Value Village for anything else, but one thing, and one thing only, booby slings, as I call them, as you heard in my other videos. My wife got some Victoria's Secret bras. And how many did you buy? Hmm, how many did you buy? Six. Six? But they had more. How much were they going for each? Uh, some were $2.99 and $4.99 and $6.99. What people would pay for their... It's a necessity. How do I say this and not get censored? Boo. B Psst. There we go. Just speed that up really quickly and you'll get my words. Anyways, how much did you pay? Seven, how much each? 36, but I can sell most of them for in the 20s. Each? Yeah. You buy how many? Six. How many? How much money are you going to make? Oh, probably about 100 or more. This is my money maker right here. See this? Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Oh. Oh, oh, even with those in your hands, make me even sexier. Mm, are you sexier? I'm, I'm sexy already. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry, that would be censored too, so I gotta keep it kosher. Anyways, guys, we'll talk to you later. Peace. Oh, that's weird. I can change where it goes. In fact, you've probably seen this move around. <laughs> How weird. I've never had I've never seen it where my face was here. My face was here. And this little screen was there. How funny is that? You guys don't want to see that. Vanished. Oof, oh, oh. Oh wow, transition during my chat. So I'm just checking out some things guys. I'm looking at right now a few items. I'm at the Salvation Army. Not much, people have been repricing these lately. 
kind of high, so we're, I'm kind of avoiding a lot of the stuff. Anyways, I'll be back. So here is me again. I'm gonna switch the camera for fun. Oh, goodbye, like a ghost. I fade in and out. <laughs> so anyways, you see all those stuffed animals? There. And um, they are what I'm looking through. Let's see if there's any goodies, any Disney Store exclusives. I see a Disney Mickey, but he's definitely not exclusive. Anyways, I'll look and see if I find any goodies. All right, talk to you later. Oh, oh, so far, these are the things I've found. Tickle Me Elmo, which doesn't actually tickle. A Pooh Bear that has an electronic motors thing in it. He looks pretty interesting. A elephant that actually makes noise, and it's a Hasbro toy. A, of course, a nightlight pillow pet. This thing's pretty cute. Let's see, it's supposed to make. It was working before. There we go. <laughs> Chasing his tail. So that might be pretty cool. That's, that's a Forever Friends, I think. A huge pillow pet. See, and then this thing here is pretty interesting. My brother found one of these a while back and he sold it for a couple hundred. This might be worth a lot. We'll see. It's got some package issues. We'll see. Alright. See you in a short bit. So I found something very interesting. Now they, they, they always say that that treasure is hidden in the most in the strangest places. Um, it always always work out this way. But let me show you something here. Let me switch my screen here. Let's see. So I found these shoes. And they're worth nothing. They're kangaroos. Probably 20 bucks, you know, or less. I was looking at the soles. And I was looking very closely at the soles, and I think this is the wrong one. I was like, hmm, just looking at the condition of them, and I found what it looked like. Right there, let's see. What it looked like. A diamond. If you get closer. So I can get rid of my little picture here, that will help. Okay, so it looked like a diamond stuck in. It is right there. And so what I did was I pulled it out. Gosh, this camera doesn't want to adjust. It makes me, it's annoying me the heck out of me. Anyways, you can't get that good of a look at it because I can't quite get a focus on here. Anyways, it's indeed a diamond. Sounds like glass. When I actually look at it really close. Gosh, I wish I could get a good focus on this for you guys. When I actually look at it really close. Let's see. It is a piece of glass. 
I got really excited for a second. I was like, oh, but it's glass. That's fake. Yeah, it's chipped up and really messed up. Anyways, I thought it was pretty exciting that you could see, you know, find diamonds and shoes. <laughs> so anyways, you now know that you can find diamonds and shoes. Look. Talk to you guys later.